Hi guys, my name is Billy Heaney and I'm a zoologist and wildlife presenter from the UK. Got my life jacket on, the sun is shining, so fingers crossed the whales make an appearance. So I've just been watching this group of elephants behind us and they've got two really ridiculously tiny calves. So this is a green turtle and she's just had a satellite transmitter attached to her shell by researchers from the University of Exeter. Now when they're around 20 years old, female green turtles will start returning to the same beaches that they were born on to lay their own eggs. These guys are mega herbivores and they don't stop eating and they can actually eat over 150 kilos of vegetation every day. That's like two of me. So with a wingspan of 1.8 meters and a body length of around a meter, the gannet is Europe's largest seabird. Now Scotland is home to 60% of the European gannet population and each year between February and October about 150,000 birds come here to Bass Rock to breed, making it the largest northern gannet colony in the world. Now when they're travelling out at sea, gannets will fly close to the waves gliding above the water but when they're hunting they'll fly up high, begin circling and then they'll perform nature's greatest high dive, plummeting into the water reaching speeds of 60 miles an hour. How awesome is that? We've got the Johnston Strait just right below us now. Prime habitat for a whole host of marine wildlife and eagles and ravens. Prime orca territory. So fingers crossed at some point we'll catch up with them. Look at that. Rot Nest is home to eight to 12,000 of these curious little quackers. Now like most macropods, they feed on a variety of different grasses and leaves. And uh, here on the island, their only natural predator is snakes. Hence why they're really, really curious. This is unbelievable. Particular favourite of the, of the dusky dolphin is Africa by Toto. They love a good melody. When we got here, we were one of maybe six or eight, eight jeeps. And uh, now, as you can see, the park is covered in tourists. Everywhere you look, in this little thicket. It's just kangaroo ears popping up everywhere. People can't immerse themselves in a TV set, but what they can do is put on a virtual reality headset and they can look around in this whole environment around their head and just witness what actually goes on. And I think in order to engage people, something like that is such a good tool to put into schools, to care homes and stuff like that, is to get people excited and it's to get them to get off their sofa and go witness these great wildlife spectacles for themselves. So we've been really lucky and found ourselves a young grey seal bottling in the water just off the coast here. Now good practice when you're watching wild seals is to get down low, keep your voices right down and get yourself a pair of these. Dippers are one of my all-time favourite birds and the fact that they can walk underwater whilst hunting absolutely boggles me. See, unlike most birds, dippers have solid bones which weighs them down whilst they're underwater. And this, in combination with dense plumage and shark claws, makes them the master of the stream. Now, reproductive females will return to those beaches every two to three years, and in one season, they will have three clutches, each containing around 100 eggs. And now, thanks to 26 years of some fantastic conservation work from the Marine Turtle Conservation Project, the number of green turtles in northern Cyprus is on the rise.